We got a fish. Yeah. First little fish. Gotta be a smallie. A small smallie. Come here, buddy. Got a little smallie. Smallie boy. Yep. There we go. Better one. Choked it. Come on, buddy. Dude, it's a good one. I want. Jesus. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. It's a freaking tank here. If I can get him. I gotta get him. We gotta get him. Come on, buddy. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. Yes, finally. Oh. All right. That's a good one. Here we go. Got one on. Yeah. Another smallie. Small one. I think. Smallish. Right on the upper lip again. There we go. The small one. Small one. Okay. I remember this spot last year. I had a really good day here. I'm hoping today it's uh, another one of those smally fests in this section. A nice one. Oh, he's a tank. Come on, baby, come on. Good thing. What are you? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, this guy is not playing. Oh. Oh, you're huge, you're huge. Come to Papa. Oh my goodness. This is a tank. This is a tank, boys and girls. This is a tank. Whoa. Come on. Oh, holy crap. I got him, I got him. Wow. That's a nice, that's a nice fish. That, my friends, is a nice fish. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at where I got him. Oh, that's a beautiful smallmouth. My God, what a size on this guy. Look at this. Oh, oh you yeah. know. Six pounds, eight ounces on the wet. Hey, he's a five pounder. He's a five pounder for sure. Oh, he's a 
a picture. A selfie. Let's put you back in. Now that's a fish. Well, my friends was a beautiful smallmouth. Uh, it's gonna be a tough, to, uh, it might be tough to top that this year. Um, pretty much ties my personal best at 20 inches and five pounds. Just a beast. I'd fished this particular area last year only once and had a lot of success. I don't know why I don't come back to it more often. Um, but I got a lot of small ones here. Like I, I got a ton of uh, smallmouth here, but nothing big. And this time I hit the jackpot. Let's see if I can get a couple others. And there's a deer right there in the woods, by the way. Right there. I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't seem to mind me being here. Wow, what a gift. He's just grazing. Doesn't care if I'm here or not. Beautiful animal. I gotta get out of here though. I'm, I'm drifting right into the shore now. It's been an eventful morning. I'll give you the, the highlight. I just caught a five pound smallie. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And then right after that, I turned the camera on, I was talking to the camera, and the shoreline where I caught it, this big female deer starts walking along the shoreline. As I'm talking, I turn around and capture that. There's no more than 20 feet from me. And it's You've just got to be it's grazing there. And then it finally spooked off but I think I got it on all three cameras I don't know oh, and at you least two yeah yeah but the morning but before that it wasn't so great because I went out and had the trolling motor out almost right away and then I tried to start up the motor and it wouldn't start the battery died anyway so um, I came back and I jump started it and went out again and then I went out and decided okay I'm gonna make sure I run it good Ow. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So far, all these bass I've been catching today, it's a very simple, the wacky rig, if you're not familiar with it. It's a five inch plastic worm. And this one's kind of a greenish pumpkin with red flakes. And you get an offset hook, just uh, let the, the hook pierce through, uh, cast it out, let it sink till you feel something pulling and set the hook. It's very, very simple. Maybe I'm oversimplifying it, but um, you know, you have to cast it out in moderately uh, deep water. Anything like six feet is, is pretty well ideal. And let, that way it has a chance to kind of like flutter to the bottom. And then, you know, as, as the fish grabs it in his mouth, you're gonna feel that weight. That's when you set the hook. But um, as you're retrieving it, you can kind of bounce it off the bottom. You can retrieve it very slowly. You can lift it and drop it a few times, you know, to get that action, whatever it takes to get them to bite. But, um, you know, every single one of these fish, none of them have, got, have gotten off. Every single one of them, the, the hook set has been at the top lip, which is ideal. And, you know, the, they've thrashed, they've jumped, they've fought, and they haven't got off. Very simple, yet very effective uh, way to fish for a smallmouth bass and probably a largemouth too, actually, yeah. Just letting it go slack and tighten it to feel any if there's anything on. Slack, tighten it. Just repeat. This is this is what I've been doing to uh, catch these smallmouth. Well, if they're feeding, if they're in an eating mood, they're gonna welcome that worm. Here you can see that. I don't know if you can pick that up. The camera's picking that up. Now see, I feel I feel weight on there. There it is. Okay, I, I got overly eager there. I should have given him a little, I should have given him a second to, to take the worm. I kind of yanked it out of his mouth. I don't think it was a big one, but. So let's try over here again. Just float it back in there with some timber. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. 
Oh, another one. Another nice one. Ooh, baby. Where are you going? Uh. That's another nice one. Not as big as the last one, but pretty big. Molly's are on fire right here right now. Another nice one. Maybe pound and a half, two pounds. Thank you for joining. Oh, there's a bite. Now see I'm feeling a little weight on that. You see that? But you didn't commit. Oh. There. there it is. I got the hook set. It's a small one. Still got a lot of fight in him. A ton of fight. But every small he fights above his weight class. And this one actually, I got him on the bottom lip in this case. It's unusual. Usually it's the top. This time we got him on the bottom. And no harm done. Where you go? Here we go. It's like the crankbait is the winner here. If I can land this guy. Might be a pike. He's fighting. I can't tell yet. Let's see him in the glare. Is it a pike? Yeah. It's a pike. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, he did get off. <sighs> well. Pike. He got off, though. That was fun.